What up? It's Boy Sugar 89 here once again, son. Once again on me. And today I got another CGC unboxing for you, Fuse. And I haven't done one of these videos on my channel in a while, homie. So if you're new to the channel or you don't know what CGC is, homie, let me break it down to you real quick, homie. CGC is a third party uh, grading service, homie, where you can submit your Pokemon cards, your comic books, and even your poster cards, homie. And then they'll grade them for you and they'll slab, homie. Like, for example, if you submit a comic book, homie, they'll put into this beautiful slab or capsule, whatever you want to call it, eh? So, uh, yeah, man, it's pretty nice, homie, especially when you have like um, any major. Uh, key issues or whatever homie like i recommend you uh submitting your comic books to get them graded homie because there's uh, like three major reasons why you should get your comic books graded today eh? first of all it makes a good display piece look at this beauty homie you could display these like pretty sick okay eh? and then uh second of all homie it kind of preserves the comic book a little bit better eh? like it kind of protects it instead of uh having it like in your long boxes or whatever pulling it out pulling it back in on my band or whatever and third of all come on man a graded comic book is worth more than um and a raw copy, homie. Like, for example, like this, uh, Batman Beyond, number six, homie. Uh, first appearance of ink. Um, raw copy goes, like, probably for, like, let me say, like, 60 bucks. I'm just estimating it right now. And, like, a 9.8 goes, like, for 280, homie. So, uh, yeah, man, it, I recommend you uh, get your comic books graded, homie. Only if they're, like, major keys or, like, this uh, special variant or whatever, eh? Just don't send in, like, dollar comic books, homie, because it ain't really worth sending a dollar comic book to get graded, eh? But, yeah, man, so when you submit a comic book, eh? This is what you're gonna get back, homie, from CGCA. Eh? They'll put the title of the issue here. They'll put the writer, the artist, and if any key moments happen in that issue, like for example, like right here, there's a first appearance of Ink, the writer right here on the left side, which is pretty dope, eh? Look at this beauty. I love Batman Beyond, homie. This is my second favorite, uh, Batman, homie. Bruce Wayne has to be number one, eh? So yeah, man, yeah, man. so right here, we got uh, nine books that I received back from CGCA. Eh? So uh, these are all books, all modern books, homie. No, no, nothing too crazy, homie. No Bronze Age, nothing like that, eh? And um, yeah, I know I could check the grades for these uh, comic books when I log into my account, my CGC account, eh? But I never do that, eh? Because you know why? I like the suspense, homie. I like opening the package and seeing what grade I got, eh? So um, I'm hoping I get all nine eights, homie. Because damn, when I looked at these comic books, homie, and I submitted them, eh? They look perfect to me, eh? So um. Here goes, here goes nothing, homie. Hopefully, baby Jesus, homie, comes through for me and says, you know what, fool? I'm gonna give you all nine A's today. When you pop it open, this is what you're gonna see. So, uh, here goes nothing, homie. I'm trying not to see the grade A so we can see it together, homie. Here goes the first issue, homie. Let's see what it is, homie. I kind of seen the back already, eh? it's the Power Ranger one, which I know that's a guarantee, 9.80. Boom! This is the thank you edition, baby. Look at this, baby. Sick, homie. White Ranger and Raphael, homie. And of course, it's a 9.8. I knew it, homie, because this comic book was near me, homie. I didn't see no flaws in it. I'm surprised I didn't get a 9.9, homie. But uh, yeah, man, this is the thank you edition. Beautiful, beautiful cover, eh? Look at that beauty. Sick. So, um, let's go for the second one, eh? Hopefully, it's another 9 8 on me. Let's see which issue it is. That's right, homie. Miles Morales, homie. I'm hoping this is a, a 9.8 on me because this issue right now is hot on me. I know it ain't the first print, eh? It's the second print, eh? And it's actually the first appearance of Miles Morales, if you guys don't know, eh? But yeah, man, this issue right here, I actually picked two of these babies on me. Shout out to the homie Mike, homie, my comic book guy, homie. He gave me two issues for five bucks, homie. And this issue at a 9.8 is worth like. 250 to like 300 bucks. I seen it on eBay or whatever. But um, yeah, man, if it's a 9.6, I'm still happy with it, eh? But I'm hoping it's a 9.8, eh? So um, here goes nothing, eh? Boom. <laughs> right on me. I got a 9.8, eh? Now I'm just hoping the other one's a 9.8 too, eh? So if I get two 9.8s, eh? I'm getting, I'm selling one of them to you know to recover my money that I spent on sending these out to get graded, eh? So um, yeah, man. Yeah, I knew they were gonna be 9.8, eh? Hey? I knew it. That's right, look at this beauty, eh? Sick, eh? And I know the first print is selling like for $1,500, homie, $1,200. It's crazy, man. My old Marlis is hot right now, eh? So, uh, let's check the third one. Let's see which, which one it is, eh? Yeah, they come with the little, these little bags or whatever, homie, which is pretty nice. Kind of protects the comic book. So here goes the second one. Which one it is? Oh, another Miles Morales, son. That's right. So, uh, 
Does baby Jesus gonna back me up this time, homie? Or what? If I get to Night Nate's way, I'm gonna be pumped, eh? Dude! That's right, homie! That's right, eh? Oh, yeah, this is a beautiful copy. Sick. I got two Nine Eights, homie. These were the two comic books I really, really wanted at, at Nine Eight. Eh? So one of them staying in my collection, and one of them I'm gonna end up selling, eh? I'm putting it up on eBay or my card or whatever. But yeah, man, sick. I picked up both of these issues for five bucks, homie. That's a deal, eh? And it's a beautiful cover, too. You can see his whole face right here. Oh, yeah, I'm pumped, homie. So now let's check um the third one, eh? Boom! Oh, Batman, homie. This one, uh, Bane breaks uh, Batman's back, homie. He did him dirty, homie. How you gonna, how you gonna break the homie's uh, back, homie, and, and his home crib too, homie? Uh, and it's actually the newsstand edition, eh? Because the other, um, the other edition is um, the direct edition or whatever. The half of it is a uh, black right here. You don't see the diners. You don't see the penny or the the other half of Bane, eh? Which um, I kind of like this newsstand edition a little bit better, eh? So, uh, did I get a 9A? Boom! <laughs> That's right, homie. I knew it. I knew I got a 9A on this one. Oh, baby Jesus, homie. That fool got my back today. Sick. Homie, there's 9.8. White pages, of course. Oh, yeah. Look at this beauty. Look at this issue, though. Sick. So, um... Let's check the other one, eh? let's see. Let's see which one this one is. I forgot which other one I submitted, eh? But uh, we'll find out right now. Boom! Oh, <laughs> the first appearance of War Machine, homie. Uh, but it's not the first appearance of War Machine, uh, Rhodes uh, wearing the War Machine. It's just the first appearance of the actual, you know, the suit. So, um, and I actually like this cover, homie. Look how it says Iron Man and it says War Machine on the on the background or whatever. So um, yeah, man, I'm hoping it's a nine eight. I kind of, I think it is a nine eight, homie. When I looked at it, I, I was like, you know, I was confident enough that it's gonna be a nine, so I shipped it out. So let's see what it is. Oh, really, way a nine six? Wow. Oh man. It's all right, homie. You can't wait a boy. Nine six is all right, but it's a beautiful cover, eh? Look at that beauty. Sick. Eh? Love it, love it. So now let's open the other package, homie, because um, uh, actually sent me two different packages because I submitted uh two different times, eh? So here's the second one, homie. And this uh and this um box I got, I think I got four more in here. Cause these were five, right? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, five. So this right here, I only have like four of them, which ah, I'm hoping I get nine point eight on me. I'm pretty satisfied with the first batch on me. I ain't even gonna lie on me. I'm pretty pumped on me. Those Miles Morales made my day, yay! And that Batman, oh, four ninety seven on me. The Bane breaks uh, Batman's back on me. Oh man, they did my, they did my boy dirty, yay! I don't know where's the front. Where's the front at? Okay, I see the front. Oh, did you guys see it? I'm hoping you guys didn't see it. So, uh, let's see what it is. Boom! Oh, that's right, homie. This one has to be a 9-8, eh? This is actually the 80th uh, anniversary of the Joker, eh? And this is actually the Ryan Brown uh, Virgin Bay eh? Which is a beautiful, beautiful cover, eh? And it's a 9.8. I knew it. I didn't have no doubt in this one, eh? And this is actually the origin of uh, Punchline, eh? So I really wanted to get this uh, comic book rated, eh? Because I actually have the first appearance of Punchline. And I actually had the cameo of uh, Punchline, too. But I got rid of it because I'm not a big fan of cameos. I don't really care much about cameos on him. But, um... The Joker always up to... The Joker always up to no good, eh? So, yeah, man. So now let's check the other one, eh? Boom! That's right on me. 
infamous higher man homie issue number one this is actually the one in 25 a eh? and if you guys haven't read this um this little series homie it's like 12 issues homie i recommend you guys read it a eh? it's I, they're actually making a funko pop of this a eh? which i'm gonna end up picking it up i don't know when it releases it's supposed to release sometime during september eh? but yeah man oh man i love this issue a eh? um Dr. Doom actually takes over the mantle, homie, of Iron Man, homie. He's trying to redeem himself, homie. You know, he got tired of being evil, homie. So he's trying to be the good guy, eh? And it's funny, eh? Because the thing doesn't believe him, homie. That fool's out to get him, eh? But the only issue I had... I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys if you guys want to go read it or whatever. But, um... The villain behind, uh... Trying to mess up with, uh... Trying to mess with, uh... Dr. Doom, homie. That's the only thing I didn't like, homie. The ending was like, ah... Really, it was you? I, I wanted to be somebody else, eh? But... It's still a good read, homie. I still really, really recommend it, eh? So I'm hoping there's a 9A, homie. I, there was no nothing wrong with it, eh? To my eyes, eh? I ain't no pro, eh? But let's see. Boom! what I get? Oh, 9-6? What? How? No. It is what it is, then. I got a 9-6 on this infamous Iron Man, eh? Still a nice cover, eh? Look at that for chilling, eh? I recommend you guys go read it, eh? So go read it, eh? Ah, whatever, man. Whatever. It is what it is, player. It is what it is, eh? So here goes the, the third one? Yeah, third one. Let's see what it is, though. Let's see what it is. Boom! Static, homie. <laughs> Actually picked this issue up for like, what was it, like 15 bucks, homie? It was still in the poly bag, too, homie. And you know what? I picked this baby up a couple months, too, eh? Now, this comic book is... I don't know why... Oh, because they're talking about uh, there's going to be like a movie coming out for him or something like that. There's some speculation out there. So this comic book started shooting up in price on me. Which I'm glad I picked it up for the price I picked it up for 15 bucks on me. And uh, I'm really hoping this is a 9-8 on me. I'm really hoping. Let's see what it is. Boom. Dash right on me. I got a 9-8 on me. And this is the first appearance of Static on me. Which, oh man, I remember watching the show Static Shock on me. Sick, eh? And this is actually the collector's edition. This is going straight to my collection, I mean, my personal collection. Beautiful cover, eh? There's actually a Platinum Edition, too, which that one goes for way more than this one, eh? But, um, beautiful cover, too, homie. You see the homie Static right here? Sick. So now let's go for I think this is going to be the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. I think I remember which one it is, eh? So, uh, better be some fire, though. They better give me a 980. Boom, what is it? Oh yeah, this is the Incredible Hulk, homie. Future Imperfect? I don't know why, I always confuse, I always call it Imperfect Future. But yeah, man, this is the first appearance of Maestro, eh? And if you guys want to read this issue, it's pretty good. I give it like, um, 7 out of 10, homie, you know? It's it's pretty tight, homie, because there's like two pages where you see like all the superheroes. Because all the superheroes are dead, eh? So you see like uh, Silver Surfer's board, you see like Captain America shield broken and stuff like that, eh? So yeah, man, this is the first appearance of uh, Maestro, homie, and I'm hoping it's a 9 8 eh? Boom, what did I get? Oh, really, wait? Wow. I gotta go back into CGC and check the greater notes, eh? Because this issue was pretty perfect, homie. If you ask me, though, but, you know, I ain't a professional once again, on me. So, yeah. Yeah, there's kind of damage right here in the corner, but it is what it is, eh? There's the Incredible Hulk and Perfect Future. Oh, I mean, my bad. Future and Perfect, eh? So, yeah, man, um, that's all That's all of my slabs, homie, that I received today, eh? So, if you enjoyed this quick little unboxing, homie, not quick, homie, it's a little bit longer video than usual, eh? If you enjoy these uh, little unboxings, homie, let me know so I'll continue doing these, homie, instead of doing Funko Pops all the time, eh? But, yeah, man, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video, eh? And a uh, streak 89er out, play, yeah?